What's up everybody, it's Sniper Alex and I'm back with a quick tip of the day. Um, today we're just going to talk about volume. I want, to, I want to talk to you guys about how volume is really a really key uh, factor into these trades that we're, that we're making and you know how really important is it. I'm going to start with my phone, I'm going to record my phone so you guys can see. I'm going to show you a couple examples. And so, um, you know, it's midday right now, there's some stocks moving on the list. Um, and I'm looking at the top gainers. Um, I'm just going to pick one random one. HEPA. So HEPA is a listed stock. I'm going to show you guys exactly how volume uh, plays into the factor and really why the stock had the potential of actually you know, spiking today. Well, HEPA was up uh, basically 100% at, at one point today. It's only up 55% now. The way that you check the volume for uh, the stock uh, is multiple ways. You can do it multiple ways, but if you just click the price at the top, it drops down this menu and you can see the second line right there is volume and that is 34 million. 34 million shares traded for HEPA today and it's important to note that is the volume is the amount of shares that exchanged hands today. Now a big key is calculating the dollar volume. There's two different things. There's volume, the shares that were traded, and then there's also dollar volume which is actual dollar amount that has gone in and out uh, in the stock in the day. And how to calculate dollar volume is you just multiply the, the volume, right, times the average daily price of, of where the stock is traded for the day. If you have a VWAP, this is very helpful. If you have VWAP on your chart, you can sh it shows you where the average price of the day is. But if you don't have that, you can kind of just take the median price of the range of the day um, and on this HEPA, it is a little bit under 450. That's like 4, 440. So you multiply the volume times that average price. So that would be 4.4 times, what was the volume? 34 million. I believe it was 34 million. <laughs> and yeah, so this stock traded $150 million today. So when you ask yourself why is volume so important, uh, you know, the big thing is, is that you want to know that there's going to be someone to sell your shares to down the road. If you're buying at a, at a price where you think is a good price to get in, you want people to be buying in and there to be buyers so you can sell your shares at a higher price. Another big key is if you want to compare the average volume, so the stock has been trading all year long, you could see what is the average volume uh, for the past year and compare that relative to the actual day's volume. So right now it's trading, you know, 35 million, whatever it is, which is a crazy amount of money. And I'm sure the average with this stock is, is you know, much less than that. You want to focus on stocks that are trading high volume, above average, things like that. So PEP is a good example of, 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 of a stock that can come on the radar just because it has a lot of volume. In the morning it was, it was up pre-market, and was already trading a ton of volume. So, you know, and, and this, the day is not over yet. So this stock will end up trading, you know, 50 million shares, which is insane. Volume, a dollar volume is, is, is a bigger key uh, than the actual volume because the actual volume can be deceiving. Uh, most of the stocks that we do trade are low price, which, you know, are below a dollar. So the volume itself could look uh, really good. The volume could be 20 million, 30 million, 50 million, but uh, if the stock is only 10 cents per share, uh, that's actually not a lot of dollars that have gone through. So before you look into the volume itself, you wanna know is it an OTC penny stock or is it a listed stock? Um, and then once you have established what you know, when you know what exchange it's on, uh, then you can look into it. And for OTC stocks, um, we would recommend dollar volume to be at least I would say $500,000 or 250K, 300K uh, traded in the stock for the day. And this is for you know an OTC stock that we're looking at in the afternoon to go overnight. Minimum 250K, 300K, ideally 500K, close to a million. A million dollars traded in a stock, an OTC stock that's setting up, potentially breaking out or, or potentially breaking a multi-month resistance or having a strong first green day um, is a really good indicator that the stock has a chance to go higher the next day. Let me see if I can find an OTC penny stock. So we have GCGX, which has gone on a crazy run, actually from subpenny to a penny four days in a row. Ideally, for a stock like this, it's been trading 
really, really decent volume for, for the type of stock it is. But ideally, we would want to see at least you know a quarter million or you know three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars traded in this stock. So let's see what is traded today. All right, so VWAP is at 0.017, and the volume for the day is 32 million. So this is actually pretty cool because this is at a penny, uh, almost two cents, and it's traded the same exact shares as uh, HEPA, which is a $3 stock. You know, if you're only looking at the volume, you're gonna get confused here because it's a totally different amount of actual dollars that have been traded between these two stocks. So 35 million times 0 0.017 is 600,000. So $600,000 is, like I said, um, is, is good to go. Um, is, is ideal for these penny stocks, especially the OTC pennies. That's, this is the, that's the indicator that you're looking for. If maybe this traded only you know, 10 million shares and that would, that would mean it only traded maybe 100,000 and, and that wouldn't be as good as a signal as you know, the stock trading 600,000. And um, you know, another big key is you wanna compare that to the amount that you're putting in. You, know, you gotta be realistic. If you're putting two or 3,000 into the stock, you want to know that you can get that two or three thousand out to somebody else down the road. Um, and you know, if you're if you're looking at the level twos, and you you know you see the asking the bid, uh, the sizes on the asking the bid, and you see them you know changing around, um, it's important to recognize the size uh, that's actually on the asking bid, and see the actual um, you know dollar amount that's going through. And you know, if 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 the size that you're putting in is is at least below that. You're, then you know you're you're gonna be um, okay, and it's it's a it's a good trade to get into. So um, you know volume is key, dollar volume is even a bigger key, um, and it's really important to uh, to use these um, to your advantage because you don't want to get stuck in a stock where it's only trading uh, you know a very small amount of volume, and you're wondering why is the stock just kind of falling and spread and not really going anywhere? Well, you know the stock's not doing much, so. Um, you you want to just check the volume. It's it's a big key. It's one of the items on the stock sniper checklist. Um, before we get into any trade, we we evaluate um, all the criteria uh, to make sure it's a really high probability setup. So I hope you guys learned some stuff about some about the volume, dollar volume, how to use it to your advantage, and how to calculate it. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, throw a comment, reach out to us. Um, see you guys next time. Peace.